By now, almost everyone must have heard about DeepSeek and even compared it to ChatGPT. But I realized that no one has yet made a video where DeepSeek is used to code an ESP32. So I thought, why not? I opened up my treasure trove of components and pulled out my trusty ESP32. In today's video, not only will you get a comparison, but you'll also learn a lot of exciting things along the way. All right, let's first write a simple code using DeepSeek, something so easy that even a fifth grade kid can understand and run it without any trouble. This code was written beautifully and explained in detail, even sharing the thought process behind it. It also covered how to connect the LED properly. All right, now let's paste the code into the Arduino IDE. But before running it, let's complete our circuit first. I picked out the most beautiful LED I had and admired its long leg because that's the positive side. Then, after a bit of a struggle, I finally connected it to pin D13. The shorter leg, which is ground, was carefully wired to the ESP32's GND pin. Now let's upload the code. Whoa, it's working. All right, now that we've got this running, let's turn up the heat. Time for some tougher coding. I am about to provide my ESP32 pin configuration and documentation to DeepSeek. Using the configuration I provide, generate a code that displays EFP on both the TFT display and the LED matrix, but with a condition. When I press 1 on the IR remote, only E should be displayed. When I press 2, only F should be displayed. When I press 3, only P should be displayed. Additionally, pressing 1 should play track 1. Pressing 2 should play track 2. Pressing 3 should play track 3. The display size should be large on both the TFT display and the LED matrix for clear visibility. DeepSeek designed the code really well. All right, let's run it and see. Wait, what? A compilation error? No worries. Let's ask DeepSeek how to fix it. Oh no, the server is busy. Please try again later. All right, let me try again. Ah, <laughs> I'm so fed up with this. The server is busy. Please try again later. Message. That's it. I'm switching to chat GPT. Same command, same setup. Just need to run the code. And guess what? Hooray! The code and circuit worked perfectly on the first try. Now, it's your turn. Tell me in the comments, what do you think? What do you want to learn next? If I get a great response, I'll make another video for sure. And hey, don't forget to subscribe. Like moving boulders just to get out of the